Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders. Texas John Slaughter. Cattle Baron, Law Dog, Family Man, and no nonsense kind of fella. Let's investigate. A few weeks ago, my friend Dan Hickman asked me to show up dressed in period outlaw garb to the Arizona Historical Society Museum. He said they're opening a new exhibit about Texas John Slaughter, and he's giving them a sculpture for it. Well, let me see. History Museum, Old West Lawman, period correct attire. Sign me up. You're such a nerd. John Horton Slaughter. This is Horton. I'm an elephant. Okay, Horton. Uh, not, not that Horton. <clears throat> John Horton Slaughter was born October 2nd, 1841 in Louisiana. He was educated in Texas and as a young man became a Texas Ranger fighting hostile Comanches. After serving the Confederacy during the Civil War, he became a cattle driver and eventually a rancher in Texas and New Mexico. In the late 1870s, he moved to Arizona and started the San Bernardino Ranch. Consisting of 500 acres, it lies near present-day Douglas, down on the border of Mexico. This ranch had a lot of aquifers, providing a great amount of water for farming and ranching. He was elected Cochise County Sheriff in 1886 and served two terms, bringing a lot of baddies to justice, as well as tracking Geronimo. It is said he was never far from his repeating shotgun, rifle, and six-shooter. At one point, he was tracking Apache renegades and came across an abandoned infant. He took the little girl back to the ranch and he and his wife Viola started to raise her as their own. She was named Apache May because she was Apache and they found her in May. Tragically, Apache May died five years later in a fire. Yeah, Texas John was pretty tough and feared for his swift justice. Slaughter is quoted as saying, I will arrest them and if they don't come peacefully, I'll bring them across the saddle of the horse. He was once cheated out of poker winnings by a cattle rustler. He later rode out to his buddy John Chisholm's spread where the rustler was hiding and straight up shot the cheater. During the Mexican Revolution, Pancho Villa's soldiers were stealing his cattle and John rode alone down to Mexico to engage the general. You might end up dead. You might end up dead is my middle name. <laughs> At any point, Pancho Villa or any of his men could have killed Slaughter. Yet a few days later, John passed through the San Bernardino gates with bags of gold hanging off his saddle. He and Viola were also very active in the community and helped establish the town of Douglas. I'm here with Texas John Slaughter, famous rancher and lawman in Cochise County. What do you have to say there, John? Can I call you John? Mr. Slaughter? Texas. Mountains, wide valleys, stretching down to Mexico. Hey folks, I'm here with Dan Hickman. Say hey, Dan. How you doing there? He's the one who created the bust of Texas John Slaughter that we're seeing tonight. So it's pretty cool, and I think he did an amazing job. So Thank you, John. That's awesome. I appreciate that. I enjoy doing it. You know, I had a paint-by-numbers kid when I was a kid. How'd that work out? Um, not, not really well. It's not good? Yeah, well, right. you know, keep trying. Okay. <laughs> Texas John Slaughter died of natural causes on February 16, 1922, at the age of 82. His wife Viola passed away 19 years later. The San Bernardino Ranch is still around today and is open to the public as a national historic landmark. Well, you know, I learned a lot about that Texas John Slaughter. He was a real deal. Yeah, that's what Pancho Villa said. <laughs> yeah. Hey folks, don't forget, please like, share, and subscribe. Just go ahead, I've given up. And we'll see you on down the trail. <laughs>